Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo. Ramo, Ramo, Hare Hare. Today I felt inspired to talk about freedom and the stages of freedom. So for me, when I was young, I always thought about freedom very externally in, in the physical sense. Where can I travel? Where can I go? I need to buy a car so I can be free. Then, as I began to evolve, I began to be aware that our real freedom is internal. How can we express ourselves? How free do we feel in our process, in our thought process? Because I began to be, become aware that there are so many things, even if I was physically free and I could go wherever I wanted to, that in my mind I was trapped by. And I know so many of you can relate to this, which is why I'm sharing it, uh, as I have in previous videos shared that my favorite quote, or I should say one of my favorite quotes is by Osho, and he says that the only thing higher than love is freedom, and love is the path to freedom. So how do we love ourselves enough to get free, not just externally, because yes, that will be a part of it. Don't deny that aspect and what you need to do to nurture yourself. But really, the true freedom is internal. And in some ways, you could say somewhat paradoxically, after some time, you might even create physical structures to support your internal freedom. For me, I, I've had this practice of meditation for some time uh, daily, and that's one of the structures that I have created for myself for the support of my internal freedom. So depending on where you are, you might rebel against that. You might feel imprisoned by that. You might feel if, if it's being forced upon you. But eventually, you may even pursue these things. It gets more nuanced over time. We start to become aware of all of the ideas and desires and attachments we have that bind us. For example, if you find yourself in a space where you're giving to someone, anybody, someone who's on the street begging, or if it's your family member and it's a gift that you're giving at someone's birthday, and you have this internal desire for them to look at you and smile and be grateful, even in that moment there is a subtle layer of being bound. Because if you don't get that response, you might feel a little agitated. And so, how do we give freely? How do we love freely? How do we act and live in a way that we have no expectations? And not because it seems nice, because I think sometimes we have these spiritual ideals, and they seem so nice, but because we actually get to the point where we become aware that they're really is no other way. We can't, we can't be free through the process of having all these desires and expectations. If something comes, let it come, and if the person is grateful when you give them a gift, okay, beautiful, receive that, and if they're not, beautiful, receive that, because you've played your part and you've done what you were called to do. As always, sending my love. This is Andrew McFarlane. Signing out, if you feel inspired to share, like, subscribe, please do so, and I'll see you soon.